All right, so let's start a new game. Oh, I was still under menu. All right, so it starts. We're in the bottom of the ocean, very Kingdom Heartsy. There's some red sky, red light on the sky, on the on the surface. We go up. Skip to black. World end. Ce fut une bonne journée à jour et s'il a continué encore aujourd'hui comme le jour bon. That was in French. Okay, so there's a red full moon. Question mark. It has begun. Miyate Town. Miyate Town. Imawashiki. This dreadful curse town. So yeah, the town is cursed. I don't know how. June 1st, at dusk, with the signs of an impending rainy season. Hey! Hey, you! Protag, huh? Don't you have to get up? Is that the sister waking us up? Uh, you're going to Miyate Town, aren't you? Miyate. Yeesh. Get up! So yeah, it's one of the girls that was on the title screen, a dark haired girl with uh, green pants and a white shirt and a blue tank top underneath. I rub my hands against my sleepy eyes. I feel like I'm still swaying in a dream. I don't even recognize where I am. Jimmy, hey, if you stayed like that on the train, it would be a disaster. That voice brings me back to reality. Sorry. You have to change trains at that station if you want to get to Miyate Town. But you were sound asleep. So yeah, she has also... Um, yeah, it's it's supposed to be black hair, but they're blue. And they, uh, she has uh, matching blue-grayish uh, eyes. And uh, also snowflake uh, earrings. I normally wouldn't meddle in other people's business, but I had to wake you. Oh, you had this awful frown. She grimaces, apparently imitating the way I'd look. Wow, no reaction? Was it too funny to laugh at? Uh, no. My heart's been beating extremely fast. Or maybe you feel sick? She looks uh, into my face and I turn away reflexively. My heart skips a beat. Yeah, no, so you it's look not like that. You're going to Miyate Town too, right? You're going there too? Yeah, that's where I'm headed. I saw you were sleeping on the brochure from Miyate Town, so... A series of dot dot dot. Really? You have nothing to say? Maybe like, what a coincidence, or maybe we should go together. No? Nothing? No, I, uh, um, well... Oh, I get it. Everything's got to be perfect, or nothing makes sense. She sits up straight. I'm Yukino Otonashi. I write for a magazine. Nice to meet you. Oh. Do we know her? I don't know. Our magazine has a section called Twilight Travel. We're thinking of doing a feature on Miyate Town. Miyate Town is this mysterious little place where people still believe in all kinds of myths and legends. Legends? For example, um, have you heard of one called The Legends of the Yomi Bito that brings misfortune to the town? Legend of the Yomi Bito? I made myself some Mexican rice, so that's why I'm gonna be eating a bit. I'm gonna take a bite left and right, so that's why I'm gonna be a slow. Uh... Okay. It's said the dead come back to life and slip away into Miyate Town every hundred years, every one hundred years. 
そうだけど。なんて。I have a feeling I'm never going to forget this assignment. So, I uh, see. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking too much. I don't know why, but I can't stop myself from talking to you. She'd probably talk anyone's ear off, not just mine. So, how about you? Why are you going to Miyate Town? Oh, she points at the brochure in my hand. Um, I... Her eyes bear down on me again. Embarrassed, I quickly turn away. Why are you embarrassed? She's not that cute. I'm transferring to the high school in that town. I'll be living in a relative's mansion there. Living in a mansion? That's unusual. Are you wrong? What about your family? My family? うん。まあ、いいけどさ。社会面が。でね。それにしては荷物も少ないけど。あ。お。物を置くの。I自分の部屋に物を余り置かない人って。うーん。逆に部屋を自分の趣味でいっぱい Welcome! Oh, is that the... It's the same cutscene as uh, before. Yeah, it's the same song. <laughs> Are we gonna see it all? So the singer was Mimi Kusunose or Isako Tojo. No, it's the same. Burn. Yeah, it's nighttime. There's a lot of uh, pinwheels blowing. There's a small square past the ticket gate. The area in front of the station is more open than I expected. A few students and businessmen are coming to the station. This is where my new life starts. I turn around to see Yukino Otonashi standing nearby. Yukino 
ゆきのおちゃんと名前を覚えてくれたんだゆきのさんは嬉しいよ Um, she nods excessively. それじゃあ私はここで。頑張るんだぞ、転校生くん。Well, I need to get going. Good luck, new kid. She pats me on the shoulder and leaves with a bright smile. I place my hand over the spot on my shoulder where she touched me and watch her walk her way. Oh, I'm one of those guys. Oh, wow, she touched me. What a nice feeling. How soft her hand that was. Clearly, the, this guy is in high school. I feel like I'm still asleep or just dozing off. I feel strange. Like I've been bewitched by a fox. Now that I'm alone, the realization that I've arrived in town starts to fully hit me. Once I snap back to reality, I look around the station square. ここで僕の新しい生活が始まるのであった。I mumbled the words she said. A smile comes to my face for some reason. 新しい生活。A new life, huh? Whatever. Suddenly, the traffic flow in front of the station suddenly comes to a halt. I don't see any cars. Huh? I feel someone staring at me intently. A girl is standing under a light post a short distance away. I don't see her. Oh, over there! She stands still as if trying to blend into the dusk, staring at me. She has. She's covering her right eye, and her left eye is glowing purple. It's like she's accusing me of something. I can't move a muscle. She slowly raised her right hand. Her hand slowly rise to cover half of her expressionless face. Her left eye gleams sharply, capturing my entire body. My breathing becomes shallow. Uh. Crows! Or bats? Uh. A bat fly just passed my head, missing me by an inch. I, invul uh, I involuntarily cringe. No, no, you, you can say that you uh, voluntarily cringe. It's okay to cringe. Cringe away, son. Oh my god, that scared me. What? The girl is gone. When I look back at that lamppost, the girl is gone, as if she'd never been there or had been a mirage. Wait, she turned into a flock of bats? She's a vampire! <laughs> What the hell was that? Oh,、uh, I'm gonna warn you,、uh, today's stream is gonna be on the short side because、uh, I have some plans for、uh, this evening. I'm probably gonna receive a call to know when I should be ready for that, so. It's the, my, my stream is going to be on the shorter side. Apologies. I wanted to start early, but I woke up two hours later than I expected. Sorry about that. When I look up at the sky, the stars are already shining above me. Evening falls into town. It's low as if the entire world is winding down. This messed up world. I wish this awful world would end. Title screen World End Syndrome. Title card. Save your progress. Yes, please. New save data, yeah. <gasps> to the world's end. The pub. There were good days. Yes. They have been good days. Curtain by Agatha Christie. This is weird. So here's the tips up, down, left, right. I take a fork leading away from Sazanami Street and arrive at a plateau. Oh. 
I eventually see a building drape in the darkness. Oh, okay, so that's how it works. So, uh, situated at the top of a hill in Miate Town, this mansion is owned by the protagonist's uncle. With a modern design, the view of, from the outdoor porch is a must-see. The main character lives there while attending Miate High School. So this is the mansion. I eventually see a building draped in the darkness of the evening. This is my uncle's mansion. So I couldn't do it with the uh, Suzunami Street, but probably I have another opportunity to press the tip button. This will be my home from now on. It's a little large for one person to live in alone, but I'll get used to it. That's yeah, a very big house. Mihate Town. A small coastal town of about 8,000 people. Oh, it's still bigger than here. Sitting between two capes. This town was considered to be a summer resort long ago with many prominent families keeping mansions here. However, as the influence of the Kamishiro family grew, tourism subsided and even now... The beautiful beaches are off limit to swimmers. Yo, so there's one family that came here and decided to privatize the land. And so, so now the, the all the beaches are, are private. In our area, the only reason why um, the, the, the beaches are not off limits is just that we've been told that because of... Um, the pollution and also um, because the, the uh, because of global warming, there have been too many jellyfishes in the sea, and the fact that there's almost like no more uh, seafood, plankton, and, and stuff like that. Um, it's it, it, it's not swimmable. It's not a safe. The, 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 the waters are not safe to swim because of uh, the too many jellyfishes. You can still ride on it. You can sail on it. You can do uh, aquatic sports on it. Some people fish, but you have to go into IC because the, that's the big problem. Uh, people, with, with the overfishing, they're emptying the sea because not only do they take the, the fish, they take the smaller fish. And they take the food of the fish. So there's nothing there for the new generation. Like, I remember, uh, like, in the, the, the history books, 400 years ago, there were, like, very big, large cod that were filling the sea. Like, you just have to throw your net and bring reel it in, and you'll catch uh, lots of fish. But as the days gone by they get smaller and smaller because the, the 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 fish remain there like on tap so they grew bigger and bigger now they don't even have time to grow big you know because of um the the, the high demand so people were like um tapping on all the resources of uh, the planet That's why everything is expensive. Uh, before, there were a lot of lobster and it was poor man's food. Now it's like a delicacy. Miate Town, I'll be living here on my own in this empty little town. Question mark. For a moment, a strong breeze brushes by my cheek. I turn away. I have a view of the sky... Not the skyline, but yeah, I have a view of the town at night. There's a lot of uh, little uh, lights shining on the land. There's some in the horizon. There appears to be some sort of large building of some sort. A five-story building looks like a, a university or something. I don't think that's a high school. It's too big to be a high school. Or maybe it's like a big uh, private industry. The sea enters my view. What is that? There's a black dot moving by the lighthouse. Oh, the lighthouse over there. Okay, I see the cape. Oh, I see the two capes. So there are two lighthouses. Okay. Okay. When I squint at it, it stops moving. I stare at it for a while, but it doesn't move a bit. I must be tired. I take the key I've been giving out of my pocket.
When I opened the front door, I found myself looking into a fairly large entryway. I step inside to take my shoes off and discover another pair of shoes, lying there as if unceremoniously kicked off. Oh, I'm leaving with someone and nobody told me. It's a pair of women's pumps, I suppose. They must have been left behind by a previous visitor. Oh, 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 you think that somebody left the mansion and they left some stuff there. You think you're going to be meeting into an empty house, an empty big house? That's not how the economy works, son. I place my own shoes neatly along the wall and look around the dim room. Yeah, there's furniture. I grope for the light switch along a nearby wall. There it is, right next to the front door. I find the switch and flip it on. Whoa! The living room is quite large, but that wasn't the reason for my reaction. There is trash everywhere. Potato chip bags, empty bottle, fashion magazine are scattered on the floor. Yeah, a girl has been living here, feeding on snacks. The woman who used this place previously must have been a world-class slob. Ah, oh, she's a squatter. She's a squatter. I feel the need to clean, but I want to unload my luggage first. I've been told to use the bedroom on the second floor. I stand in the center of the living room and look around. Okay, it's a big fridge. There are uh, two, two doors for why it looks pro like probably the freezer. It's well um, equipped. Uh, I see a sink. I see two sinks. Probably one is for washing dishes and the other one is just for cooking and rinsing. Because the, 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 the sink next to the stove looks very small compared to one where he uh, wash the dishes. And uh, the, there's a window in front of it. So yeah, there's a living room. There's a fan. There's some... Uh, Seagull models uh, suspending on the ceiling. There's a tea kettle on the table with a box of tissues. There, I see some books on the floor. There's, there's some carpet. There's a bookcase. The stairs up to the next floor are in front of me. They're made of wood and have no handrail, almost like a ladder. Yeah, like I remember my... Um, in my parents' place, the, the, the stairs that goes to the basement were like that. Wood and no handrail. I start going up the stairs when I hear a jangling sound coming from the back of the living room. What was that? It's a wind chime. Oh, I see a rocking chairs with no uh, handrails. With no arms. Hmm. It's a wind chime. Yeah, there's a, there's a porch on either side of the living room. There's like three wind chimes. You have a nice view of the city here. There are um, one coffee table, two uh, patio chair, one uh, lounge chair for two. It's like a love seat, but for uh, it's like uh, patio furniture. The lights of the town are spread out below. Beyond them, the sea is descending into night. I think I can see all of Miate towns from here. There are patio tables and chairs here. There's a lamp on top of the icebox. That's an icebox? Oh yeah, it's a cooler. Yeah, it looks like a, an oil lamp. Or one of those electric uh, lamps that you turn it on. It's like portable. And there are moths flying around the light. Oh, it must be one of those kinds with sensors that turns on when it gets dark. The dining table is on the other side of this patio, and the kitchen is beyond that. The bathroom seems to be on that side, too. The laundry machines must be installed over there as well. I see a fan, a set of couches, other furniture, but something seems to be missing. There's no TV! Ah! I'm in the horror game. No, in the city. I mainly use my TV as a standing for a clock, so not having one isn't a particularly use issue for me. 
What? You don't watch TV, you just turn on the TV to see what time it is? That's why you put it on the news? You put the, the TV on the news channel to see what time it is. Oh boy. Okay, so... Uh, I suddenly noticed a radio sitting on top of the table. A radio? I wonder if it works. I picked it up and checked to confirm that it has batteries in place. Then I take it and head to the bedroom upstairs. I took the radio with me. So yeah, it looks like a, a room. The bed has been unmade. There's a desk. Hmm. There's a single bed in a white desk. This was originally a guest room, so it's minimally furnished. But it's still a rather large room. It seems kind of luxurious for a student like myself. To have this much space? Hmm. I've seen worse, but this looks like an adequate room. Even for a guest room, this is plenty of space. Like, I know if it's like for a dorm, for a student, it might be a little bit too big. But uh, who's complaining, really? I put my luggage down without turning on the light and head back down with the radio in my hand. I'm gonna take a sip. I cut through the living room and go out onto the porch. I place the radio on the side table. When I hit the power switch, sound starts to play. It does work. Next up, an incident involving a missing 17-year-old student from Umizono Kita High School. Female DJ. Yumimito, I hope you find peace tonight. The end of the world. World and syndrome. Oh, okay, now we're getting into the, the meaning of the title of the game. World and Syndrome, a radio program that began in the previous year, inspired by Kaori Yamashiro's World End, touching, touching on art, philosophy, and spiritualism, hosted by DJ Ikaru Tsukioka. The show is popular among young audiences. It airs every weeknight, Monday through Friday. The show does not seem to be a live program. So it's a pre-recorded message. Okay. My name is Ikaru Tsukioka. Thank you for joining me this evening. A mysterious yet gentle voice flows from the radio. This is a fateful year for Miyate Town. Yeah, she's gonna tell us about uh, the the year of the legend of the Yomibito, like the, um, the, the, the the red full moon and stuff like that. There is a legend here that every 100 years, the dead come back to life. If you're from here, you may already know. Those who have drifted back to this world are called Yomibito. Yomibito are resurrected spirit that return to Miyate town and cause misfortune. It is said that the Yomibito loses its sanity at the end of the summer, which is why it begins killing people around that time of year. Jo joy, are we a Yomibito? Are we gonna lose our sanity? Woo! <laughs> Why is there a legend like this here? Have you ever wondered about this? I used to believe that it was some sort of fate that this town has to face. However, recently I've come to think of it differently. This town attracts death. Protag! Exclamation mark! The stronger your feeling towards the deceased, the more likely they will appear in front of you. Is there anyone in particular you would like to see resurrected? The Yomibito legend, once every hundred years, the dead come back to life. 
An old tradition in Miyate town, uh, one of more that people arrive as Yomibito and cause misfortune in town. This year is the 100th anniversary of the last known occurrence, yeah? Okay. I close my eyes, seeing an elegant silhouette behind my eyelids. As the shape becomes more and more defined, I feel a trembling in my soul. Question mark, exclamation mark! feel someone peering at me from the dimly lit space outside the open window. I squint into the darkness. <laughs> the DG laughs on the radio. The voice on the radio chuckles as if the speaker is watching me right now. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't believe it. You shouldn't go chasing after that. Shouldn't go chasing after that. Shouldn't go chasing. A fresh scent invades my nose. In the summer sunlight, the waves push and pull at the coastline. I'm rocking alone in a cradle created by gravity. I must be dreaming. If this is a dream, I don't want to wake up. I don't want to go back to the real world at all. I don't want to wake from it. I want this scent to embrace me as I slumber. This scent. This gentle scent. Mm. My hopes are rejected outright. I'm pulled right back into the darkness of the real world. What time is it? Must have fallen asleep after turning off the radio and lying down on the bed. Only the sound of the ticking clock tickles my ears. I protest this for a while, keeping my eyes shut against the world. It doesn't stop me from waking up, though. That's odd. I still smell that fragrance I noticed in my dream. A soft smell surrounding me, caressing my cheeks and air. It's... I shift my body slightly and suddenly feel something soft beneath, beneath, beneath my palm. Let me guess. The girl, there's only one bed, so the girl went back into the room, didn't notice us, and went to bed next to us. So now you smell her smell, the shampoo. The the, 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 the the smell of a uh, clean body, the smell of her soap, her perfume, stuff like that, still lingering. And now the something small is, you guessed it. Huh? I try squeezing a little. Boink, boink. Must feel nice, huh? Whatever I'm grasping is yielding, but resistant. It feels good. I'd better open my eyes for this. Darkness fills my peripheral vision. It takes a while before my eyes becomes accustomed to the low light. Yeah, there's a girl. You were cupping a feel. And yeah, she's like on her pajama. Opening. She unbuttons uh, midway. Um, all the way down. She's like three buttons. Uh, the top three buttons are off. You can see her cleavage, but you you it's it, it's not enough to get her tits out. But she could, but anyway, must be too hot for her. Hello, Fit Bill, how you doing? I'm playing a World End Syndrome. It's a visual novel. It's like it has some sort of horror in it. Like there's some sort of um, I'm a transfer student. Who live in my in the house of a relative, and apparently this town is cursed. It's like one every one hundred years, there's a, the dead is gonna be resurrected, and at the end of the summer they go crazy and start killing people. So basically, <laughs> it's um, uh, I have no idea what to expect, but. There's a lot of uh, tropes in visual novels that I start to see. This why this is why probably nobody uh, heard of this game, but uh, I'm curious about it. But yeah, could this be? Yeah, the girl is sneeze snoozing. I slowly begin making out a silhouette. What? A 
The sleeping girl's face is right in front of mine. <laughs> Exclamation mark. An unfamiliar girl's sleeping face fills my vision. What the? <laughs> now, she must have been drunk. She must be out partying. And then she was so drunk she didn't notice us. Wow! I roll off of the bed and jump right up. Who are you? Yeah. I can't eat anymore. This is such a cliche. Talking her sleep. Uh, she she's uh, dreaming about food. Yum 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 yum. I can't eat anymore. Who is this girl? This is a mystery that will have to be revealed in the morning. So this is probably a cousin since uh, we're at a relative's house, and if she lives there, we're probably related. So let's not touch her. I lean against the wall and try really hard to return to my dream. Save your progress? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> okay, done. So, yeah, there's a guy around my age here in the mansion. Huh? What? My cousin? Wait, what's that supposed to mean? I told you, you can't just bring important stuff like this on me. You have to tell me ahead of time. Well, whose kid is he? What? My uncle's wife's sisters? Okay, so we're not really, really related, but kind of. So it's the... Um, Uncle, uncle's wife's sister. So it's your uncle's stepsisters. Yeah, I'm your uncle's stepsister's son. Hello. <laughs> uh, whatever. I don't want to hear any more excuses. Whoever he is, I don't want to hear. I'm hanging up now. Bye. She hangs up her phone, clearly upset, and glares at me. Didn't think I would have a roommate. Uncle never tells me anything. I never heard there'd be someone here already either. I'm so sorry. What are you apologizing to me for? Is that gonna change anything? Are you gonna move out now or something? No, I mean... So according to uncle, this is really happening. Why do I have to share a roof with somebody like you? So, I guess you should tell me your name, at least. Uh, didn't he tell you just now? Weren't you listening to me on the phone? I hung up before I could ask. I was really pissed off. Yeah, she, she said ticked off, but uh, we all know she meant pissed off. She's really short-tempered. So say it! State your name, Night Creeper! She's the one who creeped on me, but I can see myself getting a punch to the face if I tell her that. My name is... Oh, I, I can put anything? Okay, what's my name? No. Delete. Uh... All right, let's see. Damien. What's my last name? Oh, uh, okay. It's not gonna fit. Ma. Scador. Mascao. Yeah, I only have. I'm only allowed to six characters. Masked though. Alright, Demon Masked though. 
Okay, that's gonna be my name. So yeah, basically that the the uh, since I'm the since I'm uh, the son of her uncle's wife's sister, I can have any last name. So that's that way. There's no way in hell that we can could possibly be related. So where do I go to confirm? Okay, here. Name Damien Maskdo. Continue. Yes. Eh? Damien Maskdo? Who's that? I've never heard of you. Are you really my cousin? That's what I'm supposed to say. What? You gonna get kicked out? Oh, you, oh, you, do you want to get kicked out? That's also what I'm supposed to say, I think. But I hold it in. So apparently, your uncle's wife's lover's mistress or something. So we have to be really distant cousin. Yo, no, 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 uh, apparently I was here with my parents about 10 years ago. 10 years ago? Oh, I think I remember something like that. It was when, when Grandpa died. Yeah, and I was still little, so I don't remember much. There were a lot of relatives, and us kids were playing. I vaguely remember that. You were here too. I think so. I remember it. I remember having trouble fitting in with the group. Oh, but I also recall a really bossy girl. <gasps> that was you? Are you trying to say that was me? I'm seriously gonna kick your ass. Oh, uh, I mean, sorry. You apologize really quickly. Uh, uh, I was about to say sorry again, but hold it in at the last second. Maimi Maimi Kusunose. Okay, pleased to meet you. Duh? That's my name. I haven't told you. I'm Maimi Kusunose. What's with the JoJo song? Oh, Maimi. Okay, sorry. Chonzuke, yamete. Ew! Don't say oh my me like that. It sounds gross. Um, yeah. You said you're transferring to Miyate High School, right? Miyate High School. A private high school surrounded by natural greenery. Its large campus accommodates a number of different activity clubs and even boasts its own outdoor pool and baseball field. The facilities are equipped with a library housed in a separate building. The school's uniform is well known for its cute style and because this... Over 70% of the students attending the school commute by train from out of town. Okay, what grade are you in? Uh, I'm a junior. For real? Same here! Uh oh. Oh, so we're the same age. Nice to meet you. It's not nice! Stop acting like you know me! No, I mean, if we're in the same grade, I'll feel better with you around, Miss Mimi. Don't call me that either! What? Uh, Mommy? Uh, my my? Uh, my? How do you want me to call you? Don't. I don't want no kissing no say bullshit. Just Mimi. Okay, just Mimi. With a cousin like you around, Mimi. Ne? Anyway, when are you starting school? Uh, I was thinking about going starting tomorrow on Monday. I'm not going to walk with you, so don't expect me to. I won't. Gosh, who would have thought my Kusunose would end up in the boys' bedroom? Um, about that. Your bedroom's the one up the stairs on the right, isn't it? How did you get that wrong? Well, I got a little drunk at a friend's birthday party. What? You drank alcohol? Oh, of course not, you did it. I was tricked into it. What did they call again? Whiskey bonbon or something? Oh, wow. 
She got drunk out of alcohol candy. I was tricked into eating chocolate and there were like alcohol in it and I was drunk from that. Wow. I want to taste those bonbons. I already taste, I already taste some of those uh, alcohol thing, but that shit is so weak. You cannot really get drunk out of that. Even if you're like 15 years old and you never had a taste of alcohol when you were a kid, I want to know how uh, how shit face you can get from eating those. But how many did, uh, did she ate? They made me eat a piece of chocolate with alcohol in it. I'm extremely intolerant. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> I remember making it home, but I have no recollection of anything after that. Sounds like you were wasted. How many did you eat? One whole piece! One? Just one? I just said that! Don't make me repeat myself. I'm intolerant. I can't go eating whiskey chocolate. I wouldn't have gone to the wrong room otherwise. Hey, you didn't try funny stuff while I was asleep, right? No, I didn't. Guess I can kick you out of the place anytime soon then. Can we establish some house rules? Absolutely. About that. Clean your room. Clean your shit. Sure. Okay, the door on the right at the end of the hall is mine. I don't have a lock on it, so you always knock. Understand? Yes. Okay. You won't tell anyone in school that the two of us live together. I don't need any unnecessary drama. Got it? Okay. Okay, yeah. Like, it's kind of taboo for them. Like, oh, you're living with another guy. Are they sleeping together? Are they boyfriend and girlfriend? Stuff like that. No, we're related. Well, how come you uh, never uh, you never introduced it? Like, where does he come from? So next time, next thing she's going to sell us is uh, you cannot tell anyone in school that we're, you're related. Sure. And now, cleaning. You get the weekdays and I'll do it on weekends, okay? Okay. So today is, if, if it's Sunday and I get the weekdays, you only do twice a week? Okay. Hey, wait. So you only clean on Saturday and Sunday? Ah, why are you so picky? This is why you never attract a girl. some kind of nerd? はい。そう、なったら、さっさと部屋の掃除に取り掛かる。ゲットリングオレディ。ルカディズエンティスナックバック。ゲットリングオレディ。ルカディズエンティスナックバック。ゲットリングオレディ。ルカディズエンティスナ
Face forward. Wow. Hi. Ohayo. Good morning. It sure feel nice out today. This is Kaori Yamashiro. So this is um, so yeah. This is the teacher that the, the male student was talking about, Kaorin. So she already has a nickname. She she's kind of hot too. So I understand why male students are attracted to this teacher. She looks hot. She's kind of my type, to be honest. Like I don't know if her coat is some sort of uh, lab coat, but uh, yeah, she has a black skirt. Pink blouse, big cleavage, some sort of necklace with uh, two rings intertwined with each other, and some uh, large ring uh, earrings. She has some long brownish red hair with matching brownish red eyes. Kaori Yamashiro! Yamashiro sensei! Miss Yamashiro, is it true we're getting a transfer student? Oh, you're awfully quick. Where did you hear that? From, well, from the guy who's standing in the middle of the classroom. He has no idea where to sit down. <laughs> I heard there was a fresh-faced-looking boy by the teacher's office. It's already a big rumor among the girls. Wow, I'm already a rumor. I'm sta Let me guess. Right now, I'm standing outside a class. So, <laughs> so. Yep. And I heard he was talking to you, Kao, I mean, Miss Yama Yamashiro. Yeah, everybody's calling her by her first name. Well, rumors spread faster here than on the internet. You're right. So, I can cut right to the chase. I'm listening to the conversation from the hall through the classroom door. I'm nervous, even though I don't care about any of this. Well, let's get him introduced. Come on in. I swallow the extra spit in my mouth. This is stupid. Why am I getting nervous? I don't care about this. I place my hand on the doorknob and open the door with determination. All eyes turn toward me. As if to avoid them, I quickly rush to the teacher's le lectern. Joining us today in 2A, Miss Yamashiro, aka Kaorin, stops for a moment and stares at me. This is uh, Damien Maskado. I bow quickly. I'm sure he's unfamiliar with a lot of things here, so please teach him not just about the school, but about the town. Well then, why don't you say a word? Oh, yes. I look around through slightly downcast eyes. My heart begins beating faster. Maybe I am nervous after all. My name is Damien Maskdo. Uh, pleased to meet you all. I say that and bow. There's a small scattering of class. Shitsumon! Question! A boy raises his hand emer energically. Hey! Uh, why did you decide to come to this town out here in the countryside? So yeah, this guy has orange hair, has some frowny eyebrows, orange eyes, three piercings on each ear. Three different kinds, one little pearl, one ring, and one little clip you attach on the on the cartilage on top of the ear. He's also wearing some sort of uh, dog tag with a star symbol on it. And uh, yeah, the, the school uniform and... Uh, a, a, a chain uh, attached to his uh, jean and uh, belt. Uh, That's his family's business, obviously. Anyway, Miss Kira Maskado, your seat will be by the window. Of course. The pro tag seat is always on the back by the window so he could look outside in the distance, not paying attention to the class. Hey, 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 hey. that was cool, Kaorin. Next to the boy who's shouting right now. Ah, over here, all right. Hey, new kid. Over here, over here. That guy's full of energy. You gotta be kidding me. The entire classroom bursts into laughter. This boy must be the class clown or perhaps the troublemaker. I bow again and make my way to the back of the class. The other student throw me curious looks. Nah, hey, new kid! Oh my. You're super lucky you got into this class. 
Is that right? He starts talking to me as soon as I sit down. Dadte! Gaudens behind the ice cream super Madonna. Just look at her beauty. Miro yo ano pibo. Can you say that louder so she can hear you? With his encouragement, I take another look at my homeroom teacher, Miss Yamashiro. It's like, it's like all your masculine desire are being purged just by breathing the same air as her. You know what I mean? Masculine desires? Hey, Asagi, you're freaking loud! Ew, what a creep! Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation here. I'm teaching the new kid a thing or two. Sheesh. Oh, my name is Kensuke Asagi. Nice to meet you. Okay, he's gonna have a JoJo stand. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Kensuke Asagi. He sticks his hand out and I find myself shaking it instinctively. Asagi-kun? No more chatting, Mr. Asagi. Can I begin the class now? No objection! The class, class again. I guess he's the class clown. Let's turn to page 49 in our textbooks. The connection between secular and supernatural belief is essential. The sound of Miss Yamashiro's writing on the chalkboard fills the room. I feel everyone's attention shifted from me. Phew! It's sort of a liberating sensation. Is there some meaning behind my being here? The lukewarm wind of June blows in from the window. Oh, really? So it's already June. So I'm a transfer student, but I miss a whole semester. Okay. So now they say that, uh, is it going to be between June and August? Because they say that at the end of the summer, the Yomibito go crazy. I slowly close my eyes and focus on the sensation of the wind on my cheek. At that moment, I feel the sting of a freezing cold gaze hitting me from the opposite direction. Question mark. Hey, it's the girl who cursed me with a purple look and then turned into a flock of bat. <laughs> From the back of the classroom by the door, a girl is staring at me with a strong and shiver-inducing glare. Yeah, she has short hair. She has a greenish hair with the same pattern, um, s um, same palette. Like, for some reason, every everyone has the same eye color as their hair. For some reason. What? It's only for a moment. She suddenly turns to face the blackboard. It was like she was looking directly into my heart. I had been stabbed by that glare once before. The night I arrived in this town. My heart begins to pound even harder than when I was standing at the lectern earlier. Save your progress? Yes. I can't save any time. I don't know why they're asking me to save uh, periodically. My long first day of being a transfer student is coming to an end. Kensuke Asagi is more meddling than I had imagined. No. Hmm? He's more generous than I would imagine. He taught me everything from the lockers to purchasing lunch tickets. Mystery club? So. Yep. Officially, it's a tribal studies research club. Kaorin Yamashiro is recruiting a student as a tribe. Oh, the tribal stu studies research club is a mystery club. A club formed to research mysteries, formerly known as the Tribal Studies Research Club, and supervised by the social studies teacher. Okay, so uh, Kaori studies, uh, teaches social studies. The club has yet to be recognized as an official school activity, and Miss Yamashiro established the club as a pilot program in the hopes of getting it officially established next year. Miss Yamashiro is personally recruiting new members. 
That's weird. Wouldn't it be the tribal club? それがさ、どんな活動をするのか誰もよく分かってねえんだよ。この世界の謎を解くみたいな噂もあって。まるでミステリー研究会。ミステリーリサーチクラブ。ミステリーリサーチそう、いつミステリークラブフォーショー。そういうこと、exactly. カーリーは日本史の先生なんだけど専門は民族学らしいんだ民族学って俺全然知らないんだけどさ、so probably, um... so like、basically a, a proto anthropology class Like, if they were teaching anthropology in high school, that would be a, a, a watered down version of it, is what I think. So, you said Miss Yamashiro was recruiting people for the club. Does that mean she's not accepting application? そうなんだ、right. まあ、well, you know, a lot of guys are just because of her, you know? Just because of her. Okay. So maybe she'll get bombarded with the application if she just let anyone apply normally. Plus, she's on a hot streak recently.、Uh, what do you mean a hot streak? Oh, you didn't know? She wrote a book last year, and it sounds like crazy. World End, it's called World End. It's a romance novel based on the Yomibito legend. Oh, okay. So, World End is not a real book. It's, it's a book that was super famous inside the lore of that game. Now, I just realized, Kaori Yamashiro. The name was introduced、uh, for the first time、uh, in, the, in the description of the World End Syndrome、uh, radio show. So it's a young adult romance novel written by Kaori Yamashiro, young teacher at Miyate High School, taking place in Miyate Town. This novel is based on the Yomibito legend. Miss Yamashiro's debut novel became very popular due to good reviews on the internet and word of mouth. And the book is even being adapted into a movie. Okay. So it's a romance with intrigue. But it's not a, a, a mystery novel with romance. It's romance first, mystery as a flavor. This is weird. It's been out for about a year, but there is even talk about making it into a movie. Wow. So, all things considered, Kaorin's popularity is skyrocketing. Huh? Did you want to get in, Kensuke? Look, of course, I would do anything to be in the club leader as the advisor. I didn't get a request to join. I didn't get a request to join. そしたら、入りたいのレポートをかけって言われたさ、俺、この熱き思いを健康用紙にと、それなのに、このお姉さんなんて香りが、もう、じらすのが上手だよな。Really? それと、ミスケに入りたかった理由はもう一つあるな。というのも。Stops right there, then he leans in close to whisper the rest to me. Miss Kenyabarita Puiwa, the people she's led to the district court, demo, or all the Banukete Pijo Soro in Nano de Ara. Boo, okay, so you're not here because the teacher is hot, you're here because she only took girls, and all the girls are hot. Is that right? Well, they have some personality defects, but. Huh? Ah, nothing. Anyway, I'll help you join the tribal club. Oh, no, no, I'm not interested in tribal studies or a mystery club. Ah, so that's all. Ah, so that's all. Yeah, over here. Get over here. He grabs my arm and starts walking. Hey, wait! It's all good, it's all good, just shut up and follow my lead. I'm not trying to piggyback on you getting in or anything. Relax. Yeah, 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 yeah,
You're saying it loud and clear, Kensuke. Kensuke forcefully pulls me along and we come to the building concentrated with... Specialized classroom. Right here, the mystery club uses the room next to the social studies room. I see a plaque reading social studies study room, I sigh. Sorry, Kensuke, uh, I don't intend to join the club in the first place. Are you serious? You're gonna be one of the Gohan club members? Not exactly. Anyway, I don't plan to joining a club. Listen up, new guy. Let me tell you something as your best friend. Since when are we best friend? Have you heard the theory that your 17 year is your strongest? Nope. Never heard of it. Yeah, we'll take all day to explain, so I'll summarize it. Anyway, you're basically invincible while you're 17. Uh huh? You should make the decision like the Go Home Club while you're invincible. That's it. Now that you understand that, just go ahead and watch. We'll talk afterward. Go get him, partner. Uh, no, wait. Kensuke reaches for the door. Are you interested in my club? Her voice sticks in my eardrums and the pleasant fragrance sticks in my nose. Wandering new kid? Kaorin! Kaorin! I turn around to see Kaorin Yamashiro. Oh, hi. It's good to see you shopping around for clubs on your first day. Why kids these days go right home? Oh, uh, it's not that it, it's not what it looks like. Kensuke forced me here and... Kensuke reaches around from behind me and covers my mouth with his hand. Yeah, Kaori, these days dying to learn about tribal studies. He me over here, saying the only club he's interested in is the mystery club, and he wanted my help. It sure doesn't look that way. Oh, he's just a little shy, right? Right? Yeah. Kensuke, what are you? As you may already know, the tribal studies research club is not official. This is really my own personal group. That's why I'm not accepting any application. Oh, that's why I'm not accepting any application. I've only talked to a few freshmen here to get set up. Oh, I know. 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 Well, the club activities will vary. In a nutshell, we'll be researching the world of mysteries from a tribal view. Nah, mystery club. See, I told you, mystery club, right? Mystery club. Mystery club sounds too informal, don't you think? It'll take a name like tribal studies, so it's research. Get approval. But it's the mystery club for sure. Don't worry about what its unofficial name is. In any case, I don't intend to increase the headcount, but... You kid? Yes. If you are interested, maybe I'll give you a special interest screening. What? Oh, Kaorin! 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 Oh, Miss Yamashiro smiles slightly. My major was in Japanese travel studies. It sounds complicated, but it really isn't. We study how the people of Japan came to realize their values and lifestyle in this small island nation. Ah, Kaorin, I know. 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 Ah, Kaorin, Exclamation mark. There's a legend in Mahatte Town about the Yomibito, where the dead return to this world. How did that legend begin? Humans can't ignore death. I feel that this legend has to have a root in a deeper tradition. If you're interested in joining my club, write me a thesis paper. The land 
枚数はちわかりました明日にでも書いてもらえまいと。No, you already apply and you failed. アサギくんあなたの論文はこの前読んだわよ。なかなかの大切で感心したけど。ああいうラブレターは私じゃなくて。クラスの女子にでも書いてあげなさい。テーマね。じゃあ、今回のテーマは。あなたが何でできているのか。そうね。健康生活。あなたが何でできているのか。それが知りたいわ。Exclamation mark. What am I made of? I feel a piercing sensation in my heart. What am I? I. I thought you weren't letting anyone new join the club. Ah, it's her! That girl from class, the one who stared at me, or so I thought. Miu san. Miu! Did you bring the textbooks from the classroom? Yes. Kimi, t h e r e a d y This is Miu Amana. o the same class. Amana Miu s a yo. Yeah, we kind of met. We met before in the dark alley. She gave me a dead look and then she turned into bats. I'm telling you. You have a vampire in your class. Oh, no, 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 not yet. That's what I was hoping for. Dun, 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 dun. Miu Amana. All right, so this is Miu. I lower my head slightly as if to say hello, but Mew seems to have no intention of making eye contact with me at all this time. That's kind of awkward, huh? Mew? The Travel Studies research is my personal activity. I'll choose if he has any motivation to begin with. She smiles slightly again and goes into the story room with Yo Umana. Save your progress. Okay. Once the two of them are gone, Kensuke Asagi opens his mouth once more. Amana is always like that. She's not all that sociable. Well, she's not sociable at all, actually. Either she's a complete jerk, twisted, or senile. Those are all some pre pretty, pretty serious slanders. I can see someone's personality just by looking at them once. She's that kind of person. Trust me. So, what kind of person am I then? Okay, what? I don't know what voice to give her. Oh no! Okay, so it's it's my me. Yeah, so what kind of personality am I then? Oh, my. My me! My me! Come on! Say it! What kind of personality do I have? Am I a Karen? Say I'm a Karen! I dare you! Okay, okay,、uh, listen, my dear. Let's say I did accurately describe you.、Uh, what then? It'll only solely our relationship. What I'm hearing is that you're definitely going to insult me! Just think about it. Who benefits from me telling you that you're only cute if you're quiet or you're violent? Slob! Ow! That's one heck of a punch! Hang around with this guy isn't good for you. You're better off getting as far away from him as you can. Thanks for the warning. But I can't help it. He's, he's, the, the, the teacher made me sit next to him in class.
何聞いてないの I never knew that. 多分って何だ Probably. マイミー、あ、I thought you didn't want anyone knowing that. やば。あ、oh, crap! I was supposed to keep it on the down low, I forgot. Too late now. But you've been here for one day and you're already hanging around with this idiot? You've been here for one day and you're already hanging around with this idiot? He has been annoying, he's actually pretty cool. Um, this is my first choice. I didn't know that I would have any choice. So, yeah, he has been annoying. Well, let's keep it real. Right? Kensuke is famous for his inability to read textbooks or the general vibe of the room. <laughs> ほど。Oh shit. Tashka, my new world is a little bit of a mansion up to now, weren't you? So now that you are, oh, 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 oh my god. So, yeah, we're sharing a room. What she said. This is a scandal! A major scandal! If you start spreading any weird rumors, I'll kick your ass. Who have already had my ass kicked? Mimi, let's go already. Oh, hi, hi. Oh, yeah, Well, this is the book Cowering wrote. I had Kensuke show me the library. It's completely separate from the main buildings and looks like a real library. Isn't it weird for a school to buy a book written by a teacher? Does that keep them from buying the book? No, not, no, not really. Like when I was in, in、uh, college, I was in a French class and there was this, fr uh, fr uh, this teacher. Who wrote a book and I, I not, not that I was forced to buy the book, but I had the book, and then I failed the class, and then I have another、uh, French teacher who was the author of that book, and it, it, she was、uh, put this as a mandatory reading. It's like, hey, I already got your book! And for some reason, that gave me brownie points, and I pass. But long story short, I had, it took me a, another try to get through that book, and it felt, I felt like a natural because I was already learning the themes of that book, and she was pleased with that.
all right i'm gonna have to keep an eye on the time because like i said it's gonna be a, a, a stream on the shorter side <sighs> uh world end the end of the world the book seemed to be on the notion that mihate town lies between earth and hell somewhere in this town is a gateway to the yomotsu irazaka huh mm? what's this yomoshu something Yomotsu Irazaka, it's a hill leading from the living world to the world of the dead. It's said to be in the west. The world of the dead, huh? You seem awfully familiar with that stuff. Hey, wait, I heard this on the radio. The radio? Oh, yeah, right. You wouldn't know Hiraku Tsukioka. Yeah, of course, we met the Hiraku Tsukioka. The talk show host of Miyate Town's local radio program, World Dance Syndrome, her soft, whispery voice. Is gaining popularity among your young audiences and ASMR fans. Little is known about her besides her name, and her identity is largely unknown and shrouded in mystery. Yeah, it started last year. It was inspired by Kaori's book. The world and bad finally reached the radio waves. Oh, that program! I think I heard it the other day. I can't get enough of Tsukioka's voice. World End on Syndrome. Oh, the way she says world end syndrome, it gets so excited I can't sleep. That whisper when you listen with headphones, it's like she's breathing in your ear. Man, I bet Karu's hot. Must be, you mean you never seen her face? Apparently, she's requested to keep herself hidden, but that only adds to the mystery. The imagination runs wild! Aren't you being too quick to judge based only on her voice? Don't underestimate me, you kid. I can get someone's personality from their voice too. It's a gift. A gift, I tell you. Nah, he's a, he's a goof. I see. Yeah. Man, Kaori's influence is really remarkable. Not only is that radio program, they're making a movie. I wonder if he's up for the lead role. I hope Kaori picks me. I think the protagonist is a female student, though. Ah, it's not unusual for a movie to change the main character's gender. No problems there. Cool. But usually it's the other way around. Usually it's the other way around. They change the gender when it's a male, they switch to a female. After I have supper, I hurry back to my bedroom. I pull a book from my bag. Mihate Town, Tradition Surrounded by the Sea. I checked it out from the library. I flipped to the back cover to find an old black and white photo of this town that seems to have been taken from a plane. I turned to the table of contents. Chapter 1. The Yomibito Legend. Definition of a Yomibito. The Yomibito are believed to be temporarily resurrections of the spirit of the deceased. When the Yomibito rises, the town faces misfortune. There are documents detailing past massacre. It is thought that this is because the dead, once resurrected, murder out of a desperation to be alive once more. In any case, the existence of the Yomibito poses great danger to the town. Once one is found, it must be destroyed. On the other hand, the Yomibito is not aware it is dead. Once they become aware of it, they cannot stay in this world. Therefore, they also have no recollection of their death. Okay, let me read all that. I need a reread. Temporary resurrection. Okay. When they're out there, the town faces misfortunes, massacres. They murder out of a desperation to be alive. Okay, okay. Yeah, we have to kill them. But they're not aware they're dead, but they just killed to feel alive again? But once they're aware, they're, they can't stay. Ah, uh, okay, they have no recollections of their death. But they feel a blood loss? They murder out of desperation? This is weird. 
They have no recollection of their dead, but they kill out of desperation to be alive once more, but they are. It's like they 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 think they're dead. They think they're dead, but they're not alive. No, they think they're alive, but they're not. But they kill out of desperation. This is weird. This is so weird. I slammed the boot shut. This is nonsense. Just some old fairy tale. I turn off the lights and slip into bed. Oh. What's this? Dending lamp? Sora. Sora. A jolt awake in a pitch black room. A dream. I realize that I'm drenched in sweat and wipe my brow. You shouldn't go chasing after that. It was the radio. I must have fallen asleep with it still on. Where did we come from? And where are we going? There is no way to know the answer to these questions. But. Feel it. The path is being shown to you. Realize. Realize that existence is supporting you. New kid. Don't you know what you're made of? I jump out of bed and head to the desk. I take a pen in hand. What am I made of? I place a bunch of paper on the desk and start running my pen along it. Oh, so I'm writing an essay. I can't sleep, but I'm writing an essay. All right. Save. Therefore, how can people come to worship invisible things and how do they apply that to life? ということでもあ先生今年は読み人が蘇るんでしょそうね。That's みんな静かに。そんな話はいくらでもあるものよ。古くは画者どころから、ただ。長きにわたる噂は、やがて伝承となり、大事なメッセージをこれを探っていくのが民族が作ったわけ。つまり、ちょっと、オッケー、ウェ
先週から行方不明になってたってあれでしょ私は殺人事件かえあれって自分だって聞いたよ私友達がその学校にいて結局よくわからないけど well, we'll、sure、まあうちらには関係ないねあ、バーリー先生ーーーはい、さようなら、oh, あらどうしたの What's wrong? I take an envelope from my bag and head it to Miss Yamashiro. What's this? You wrote it already? Yes. So, wow. That was fast. Wait, you're kidding me, right? Oh, hey, new guy! Shame on you for getting in trouble with Kaorin already. It's not like that. Then what? You wrote your report already? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oi, 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 oi. Kensuke also looks surprised by the papers Miss Yamashiro pulled out of the envelope. Whoa, 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 whoa. This has to be over a hundred pages. Did you write this overnight? I sort of rushed it, so it might be a little hard to read. So, yeah, it was possessed. I was possessed by my pen and I wrote, and I never stopped. Miss Yamashiro stares at me. So, what's the overall team? The team. Life and death are two sides of the same coin. That's deep. <laughs> you think it's deep? Yeah, even the teacher is laughing at you. Are you really a high school kid? I've never seen anyone write an essay like this. Let's see. Your Miss Yamashiro stops abruptly. It's nothing. I'll read it. Good work. Thank you. The key to getting into the mystery club is passion, huh? You're quite the strategist. It's not like that. I don't know. I felt like the pen was moving on its own. The pen? On its own. That's automatism. Auto what? Automatism. It's a phenomenon where you write messages unconsciously and under the influence of external forces. Famous actors and songwriters often say they don't remember writing things. I think this is one of those situations. Uh, you know about some pretty weird subject. I was starting to think you only ever thought about girls. Something similar happens to me too. I'll find a picture of a girl's butt on my camera that I don't remember taking. Gensuke, that's a crime. I'm just kidding, idiot. I just remember Kaolin mentioning it in class. Anyway, let me take you somewhere cool today. That can't escape. He looks, he pulls around, but he seems to be secretly serious about tribal studies. Asagi-kun, so you have a new class next week. Asagi, don't forget your remedial class next week. A score of four is the lowest in your grade, you know. My God, he got four out of a hundred. Of course you get remedial. Shit. I take that back. A few boys and girls are hanging around by the school gate. To be exact, four boys are surrounding a single girl. That's not good. As I try to pass that group. Please stop. Okay. So you Okay, they're pulling this girl. She's small. She has blonde hair, but brown reddish eyes. Let's go hang out sometime. You're a freshman, right? You like karaoke. Girls like going out to karaoke. Karaoke is good. I'm fine. こんなところで暇そうに立ってたからさ、親切なお兄さんたちが遊んであげるって言ってるんだよ。大
らが迎えを待ってるんです I'm just waiting for my ride. へえ君サヤっていうのだかわいいサヤ have I heard that before where have I heard that before Seems like a bunch of older boys are harassing a freshman student. The girls look distraught. The laughter of the male students stings my ear. Hora! Well, I'm not a big girl, she t a g e t him in the work. One of the boys grabs the girl by her wrist. Stop it! Let go of me! Hanashima Sai! She said, Stop it! That's adorable. Hey! Kensuke! Oh, leave him alone. I should. Intervene, sorry. What are you doing? Nanda? What? Nanka is something? I ask what you guys are doing. Hanashka get up there. Hanka shut the eye. Oh, he jumped in. Hey! What? Am I doing something wrong? Haven't you heard the expression? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Is that the right expressions you're thinking of? Oi, Omara! Hey, what are you guys looking at? Go away! Oh, oh, are you talking to us? So, yeah, you're a junior, aren't you? You got some beef with us? Ah, they're seniors. No, we don't have any beef with you. Nice, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pathetic. No kidding. Just go away already! Can't you see you're talking to this girl right now? Oh, I don't care if you're talking to this girl right now. Oh, I don't care if you're talking to this girl right now. You don't know what you're seeing. My eyes are pretty good. Baka! What are you saying? Hey, idiot! What are you? Maybe this gives me a thoughtful lesson. The four bird voice turns around towards me and Kensuke. One of them keeps holding the girl's arm so she can't run away. Let me go. I'll teach you to talk to a classman. You seem to be playing with an awful lot of gentlemen, Saya. You seem to be playing with an awful lot of gentlemen, Saya. Being surrounded by a bunch of young men like that is like one of those. What do they call them? Hattori. Hattori. Okay, so this is probably the guy uh, she's been waiting for. So he's a very tall guy with uh, glasses. He looks cute. He has uh, very pale blonde hair. Maybe golden yellow eyes. And having some sort of... Uh, it's... It's not a tie, but it's not a bow. It's like a, a piece of cloth hanging together with some sort of ring. It's like a, a necktie without a noose. Interesting. Host club. Perhaps you're thinking of host club, sir. Seizo Hattori. Ah, so that's right. Oh yes. いやなんかホストクラブにしては誰だこいつ。This guy. Who is bad dude? Look at that car. One of the boys points at the black foreign car parked intimidatingly. お兄様。So you're very late, brother. Thanks to you, I'm getting involved with the dangerous fellows. 会議が予想以上に長引いた。ロンドン社が開く前に片付けておかねば。カミシロドホンさん。Or the Kamashiro Do. Originally a Jap Japanese snack shop, Kamashiro Do is now an international snack food manufacturer. Although the current president of the Kamashiro Do, Toeshiro Kamashiro, claims credit to the company's success, many of the most popular products that make up the bulk of the company's revenue are rumored to have been proposed by his deceased wife. Okay, so Kamishiro, if I remember, if I remember, Kamishiro is the the family that uh, that big rich family that comes into town that makes uh, the beach is off limit to swimmers. So they're probably an asshole rich family. But that being said, 
the little sister doesn't deserve to be uh, bullied like that. <laughs> So yeah, we need to settle it before the London branch opened or the Kamashiro though would lose face. Kamishiro do? Oh, that means she's Saya Kamishiro? Apparently she's an important character. Are you going to release me now? Uh, oh, yes! The boy quickly drops his hand from her arm. So, so anyway, uh, the four of them scamper away. Right, See, then I tell you, if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. It's unbreakable Kamishiro though. Oh, the Kamishiro though. You mean the snack maker? Oh my. Man, you really don't have a clue, do you? The girl who tried to rescue is Saya Kamishiro, daughter of the CEO. Uh huh. Thank you for your kindness. Who are these two? And why haven't they run away yet? You tried to come to my rescue without my asking? Is that so? Well, thank you for that. My name is Kamishiro Mibu. Come by our hotel, and I'll repay you. Okay! Oh, okay. Alright! So he knows us. Sweet! Really? Then I come by that you did nothing, you coward! But brother, but this boy wasn't the one who tried to help me. It was the gentleman over there. Oh, you, huh? Thanks, not much, but take this. It's a new Kamishi... Okay, so... So that the tip was for the Zetai Zetsume Panda, everybody's favorite idol group headlined by Nikare. The group originally had 12 members, but one of them dropped out, leaving them with 11. Their logo is a somewhat devilish looking panda wearing bandages. Like the, the logo of the game! Masks of this panda constantly sell out at their live performances. The band is referred to by fan as Z-Pan, ZZ, and sometimes simply Z. Yes, yeah, Zetai Zetsumi Panda. So, ZZ Pan. I would call them ZZ Pan. Because Z Pan is like. Zetai Zetsume. Okay, so Z, ZZ, or Z Pan. But I'll call them ZZ Pan. Fuck them. Your, na your nicknames suck! So yeah, they're, 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 they're an idol group made of 11 members. Still. Okay, so it's not much, but take this. It's a new Kamishiro product we made with Zetai Zetsume Panda. I'm fine, I didn't really help her anyway. Hey, remember, they're unbreakable! <laughs> so, See, sorry about that. that. Let's go, Saya. Saya, so. So, basically, it was um, basically uh, a snack that was uh, exclusive edition tie-in with uh, the idol group ZZ Pan. Uh, hi. Ah, uh, yes. I'm glad you weren't hurt. To the car, please. So, Ze Seizo Atori is probably... Um, is probably the driver. So, yeah, when the... when the big guy... when the big brother... Alright, alright. So, to the car, please. 
Saya rushes towards the car. She suddenly stops and turns around, then stumps over to me. What? I don't owe you anything. No one can consider what you did helping. Oh, you don't. Oh my God, it's not like that. It's not like that, and I don't know why you thought that crossed my mind. Excuse me. Mibu Kamishiro made an unexpected appearance. You really get to see him in the flesh, you know. Oh, yeah? He's only in his 20s, but he's already slated to be an executive in Japan to a snack manufacturer. What's someone so high and mighty doing in Mihate Town? Man, you really have a long way to go. Kamishiro Do may be world famous, but it's all started here in Mihate Town. They're a huge move to a bigger city when they got big, but the founder family keeps their own in Mihate. この町が潤ってるのは神代堂のおかげだと言ってもいいそれくらい三原手帳に影響を与えてるなてかお前いい度胸してんな肝が座ってるというかなんというかはお前時々のこと言うのあくまで時々だけどなそれじゃ道草しちまったけど行こうぜこっちだOkay. Let's see how long the next chapter is gonna be. So I have a feeling uh, I'm gonna be in two save um, sessions soon. We keep walking in the direction away from the ocean. I have no idea where Kensuke is planning to take me, but I'm beginning to realize something's about something. I'm beginning to realize something about this town. Kensuke, what's the significance of those pinwheels? What's that, new guy? Those. I point at the clicking, spinning things. The residential district is all around us, and almost every yeah, there's the pinwheels all over. These pinwheels can be decorating various locations within Miyate Town. There is an old tradition of placing them near houses in order to deter the Yomibito from entering them. Okay, so it's superstition. So um, those uh, clicking pinwheels uh, are ward for the Yomibito. The, residen the residential district is all around us and almost every gate or porch have pinwheels decorating it. They're in many colors, red, blue, yellow, violet. The sea breeze pushes the through them, making a dry sound. Yomibito yokeru tame jayo. Oh, you mean <laughs> so that guys impersonate an old guy? They repel the Yomi Bito. The Yomi Bito again with World End. Hey, hey, it's obviously not a, about World End. The Yomi Bito legend was around long time before that. It said the Yomi Bito was a legend, and the Yomi Bito brings misfortune. Remember? I was born and raised here, so this damn Yomi Bito was around for as long as I can remember. This is the place where the Yomi Bito was around for. But if they come out only once every one hundred years, and you've been raised. With pinwheels all around, that means that you've been keeping pinwheels for a hundred years long. So, what makes you think that the pinwheels is gonna protect you? Like, if it was the year of the Yomi Bito, you put your pinwheels on the Yomi Bito year, not during 100 years, hoping that oh, they're gonna protect us for 100 years. So to us locals, this is nothing new. I guess it would be a little weird to a newcomer like you. Yumi Bito repelling pinwheels. Hmm. Okay, we're here. Look at that. So this is a cafe called Pastiche. There is a narrow, unpaved path ahead of us. A large-style building is there. The forest to its back. The greenery in the background makes the scene endearing. The sign, Café Pastiche, a café surrounded by greenery owned and operated by Yamato Amana. So, wait, 
Amana, is that the nickname? Is that, that's the. Is that. Are they related to Mew? This cafe is meant to be a hangout for students from Mihate High, but due to its location farm from the train station, it only attracts locals. Under Yamato's suggestion, yes! Younger sister Yu greets guests wearing a costume that makes her popular with the boys, but her attitude is thorny, and each group of male students find this very attractive anyway. Very well. Thanks to that, the cafe's business is doing well. Cafe Pasutishu. Mew Cafe, they call it Mew Cafe for short. Another name for Cafe Pastiche, thought up by Kensuke Asagi. Once you visit the cafe, you understand why. Because of Mew. Mew Cafe for short. Mew Cafe, why is that? There's an ocean cafe down by the boardwalk. Ocean Cafe, a fashionable cafe situated along the waterfront. It's popular with a trendy young crowd due to its Italian influenced cuisine. It's been rumored that the cafe offers special dishes not listed on its printed menu. There's an ocean cafe down by the boardwalk. It's the opposite of that. I'll tell you about the employees later. The employees. Over half the students at our school commute by train, right? So the cafe by the station gets back after school. Makes sense. This cafe is in the other direction of the station, so the local students come here. It's a hidden cafe. I see, I see. Okay, I get it. Since because it's a 8,000 city, it's 8,000 people city, People who go to high school are from other towns. They go. They once they leave once they leave school, they have to take the train, and this cafe is on the opposite side of the train station. But there is a cafe on the way to the station called Ocean Cafe, which is pretty popular. This is Mew Cafe because of the employees. Okay. Alright. Not what? Not interesting, huh? I didn't think this cool place he was talking about would be a cafe, so I'm a little shocked. Oh my. Don't go thinking that this is any ordinary cafe now. It's a full body attraction. At least, it is to me. Gotcha. Alright. Don't pass out now. Let's go! I follow the oddly excited Kensuke to the cafe. Irashai! Welcome. An energetic voice comes firing out from the back of the room as we open the door. There's a man with long hair standing behind the counter. He must be the cafe's owner. This is probably Yamato, the big brother. So all the tables... So this is like... Short... It's like it's a dim room. All the table has a little uh, candle on it. And every, everything is... Uh, all the furniture is made of wood. Very uh, earthy colors. Here, let's go sit ah, over there. So there are a decent amount of people already inside. I see some school uniforms too. We take a seat at a table along the wall and I open the menu. You don't need to see the menu, Kensuke. Oh, no, I'm a regular here. I just order coffee though. I look for coffee in the menu. 150 yen, tax not included. So 150 plus tax? Mm, I've seen worse. That's cheap. Maybe they're used for three bucks for coffee. Yeah, it's true that these days 150 is cheap. Daro? Right? I'm always broke with love and relationships. This place is a noise for local students like me. Like me. Aren't love and relationships the same thing? I hold back from actually asking, though. What about this cafe is a full body attraction, Kensuke? Ma, mate. Just you wait. Wait, yeah, and we shall be rewarded. Kensuke, I have no idea what you're. Of course, this is Mew. Welcome. Oh, she's dressed as a maid! Oh, oh. For a moment, I forget how to breathe. She's dressed as a 
freaking made. <laughs> okay, okay. But the personality doesn't go with that vibe at all. This is probably the last girl I would expect to see in a maid uniform. She must hate her job. My big brother forces me to wear this shit. Nope, still not breathing. At least I don't think I am. It's. Yo, Amana. Hey, Amana. Coffee, ne? Coffee for me. Coffee. I think I was dazed from a good minute. Oh, oh yeah, you gonna order anything? Mio Amana's eyes are captivating me. I'm oddly dumbfounded by them. Da da da. Oh, uh, uh, um, uh, Coco? I have no idea why I order Coco. 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 The way she pronounced Coco, it's like, oh, she's so cute. かしこまりました. Got it. She places two glasses of ice water on the table, then walks away to the counter without another word. <laughs> what now, <laughs> you guy? Do you get it now? Do you understand? So. <laughs> That's right. This is Miu Amana's home. She works here at this cafe after school in that beautiful outfit. In this cafe, not only can you observe Amana's amazing garden in outfit, but you can also experience her voice. Her voice, huh? Now do you understand why this place is known as Mew Cafe and why it's worth mentioning? Master! Iced tea, just ne! Hey, Yamato! Five iced tea, please! The door slams open and several female students come in. All of them are holding rackets. This must be the tennis club. One of them is more distinctive than the rest. Ah! What are you doing here? Okay, so she's in the tennis club. My me. There you are, Mike. You done with your club already? Her nickname is Mike's? Dude! Oh, I'll be right back, guys. My me calls out to the rest of her club crew, then she drops into the seat next to mine. She is giving off a perplexing scent, a citrus fragrance, tinged with sweat. Mike, you're the only one I know who can place an order even as you're walking through the door. What? It's just faster that way. Ah, it's so hot. Water, water. Oh, that's... Hey, wait, that's my water. Miami chugs my entire glass of water. Phew, so revitalizing. The water of life. The water of life, life is, water is life. That was my water. Man, you two really get along. Huh? Hasn't only been a few days. How did that even happen? Oh, I know. Kepsuke, didn't you say you wanted to be a fashion designer in the city? Is that why you're befriending? Hey, 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 Mike, don't talk about some dream I had when I was little. Little? You told me that last year. This dude tried asking me out. He was telling about his hopes and dreams. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Mike, stop. Can you stop calling me that? Nikare. The nickname for Rei Nikaido, team ace and central star of the popular idol group. Oh, for real? So, Rainy Kaido, she's on the tennis club and she's also the star, the star of the idol group uh, Zizipan. Online, her name is reduced in shorthand to 2KDO. 2KDO? Oh, Nikaido. Of course, Ni, ni for 2, K for Kai, and Do. 2KDO. So, Nikaido, of course. She recently made her debut as an actress and volunteered to play the lead role in the film adaptation of the popular novel World End. Okay, everything is in everything now. She's visiting Mihaide Town this summer while the movie is being filmed. Okay. Okay. Can you stop calling me that? It sounds like the name of some pop idol, like who was it? Nikaire or whatever? I'm giving you an idol name. It's a sign of respect. Besides, I got tricked into you out. 
tricked, huh? Who would it be? When I first met her at school last year, I didn't think she'd be this sloppy. How rude. She says, pouring the remaining ice into her mouth and crunching noisily. Yeah, so I, I got some ice water. She drank all my water. And with the rest of the ice, she puts it in her mouth and she crunches it. Apparently, this is rude in Japan. Just because of the mouth noise you make out of crunching. I don't know. She doesn't bug you. You live together, right? Did you think she'd be like this when you first saw her? In response, I say... Oh, the first time I saw her was when she was sleeping. Not really. Seriously? I'm alone in this? Am I the only one who fell for it? You guys are always so lively. Oh, this is... Okay, so... Mimi is calling him Master. But that's probably his nickname because he's uh, the owner. So they're calling him Master. But uh, yeah, oh, hey Yamato, you're looking cool as usual. Yeah, of course, like he looks like a host club. He has all two button like he has a very loose bow tie he has a um, the, the the shirt is open as a v-neck the first two buttons are off and the necktie is very loose and uh, just below where the the button opens and of course white shirt sleeveless ve sleeveless vest it's like uh, two pieces of a three-piece suit. So all, all it's missing is the jacket. <laughs> oh, stop it, Mimi. Uh, uh, I don't believe you oh, oh, he's my cousin. We just kind of met too, in a way. Uh, Damien Maskado, player, nice to meet you. This is Yamato Romana. He owns a cafe. Intrigued. Amana? Amana? Amana Mew no Yeah, he's Mew Mana's older brother. Oh. Hi. Go to Mana. Here's your coffee cocoa, ne? and cocoa. Mami chan. Mami, you want a milk with your iced tea, right? <laughs> you got it. Thanks. Your milk tea Master, is the best. Moshkashite kimi. Are you the newcomer? The owner gives me a puzzle look. Yes. Yeah. I've heard of Mew. I hear you're in the same class. She's a little quiet, but I hope you'll be kind to her. Heard of me from Mew Amana? Hey, say something! Oh, uh, yes. Likewise. The owner smiles and returns to the counter. They're good-looking siblings, but how can they be so different in attitude? Are you talking about you? She talks a lot, actually. Really? Why do you sound so surprised? You don't even know her. Anyway, I'm going to sit over there. Mimi stands up, glass and racket in hand. Oh, don't forget your cleaning duties today! Uh, what's the deal with you two anyway? Well, I watch Mimi rejoin her group, I tell them. I'm just a cleaning dude. Ah! I find myself lying on the couch on the porch. I must have fallen asleep. So I got woken up by some cars with tires screeching. This is weird. A dream. I'm home! Hooray! Ah! It sounds like Mimi's back. I stand up and open the door to the living room. Welcome back. Mimi is sniffing around with her eyes closed. Wait, is that... Is that curry? I made a lot. You want some? Yes, yes! OMG, I was so ready to sell for frozen pasta today too. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, in her mind, she was ready to uh, take one of the frozen pasta, like one of those TV dinners. 
But yeah, like if there's a fresh food, uh, she's gonna take that. That's impressive. Are you actually good at cooking? Curry is super simple. Doesn't it take a while though? Mm, it smells so good. Anyway, time to dig in. Have you eaten already? Not yet. Then let me fix you a plate. No, I insist. Okay, so I think I hit a nerve with her. So, yeah. <laughs> when it comes to food, she's gonna be also nice with me. Like, if I make her food, she's gonna be, uh, she's gonna be friendly with me. Ew. So good! I like the spiciness too! You don't put potatoes in either? I always ate potato in curry. Well, usually when I put potatoes in, in stew, it's to make it thick. But... Yeah, usually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. People either put potatoes or rice. So, usually I'll, I'll be the potato guy. But if she eats potatoes in curry, it's fine. Just don't eat the potatoes. More for me! If you have potatoes and rice in the same dish, that's just carbs on top of carbs. My stomach can't take it. Yeah, yeah, you see, she has the same... I agree with her on this one. It's either rice or potatoes. So usually you have the stew and you put the rice next to it. But if there's potatoes in the stew, you curry, you eat it with the rice. So you either... I, I think I get her point. She'd rather eat her a dish without the potatoes. But I would, uh, like, how do we call riceless curry? Is it stew? I like that you put corn in it. It's fitting for summer. Eggplant's good in fall. Curry works in any season. Well, I found that curry in the summer, it's like spicy on top of hot it makes you spicy food makes me sweat so basically this will be a uh, three season like curry during the summer um i don't know I only really have packaged curry or school lunch curry the best part of our whole curry is you can make all you want oh, uh, can i go for seconds Sure, but... Sure, but what? You talk a lot. Is your family the shut up and eat type? Our family was never like that. We all see them talk together at meals. Ah, there's plenty more. We can have some in the morning too. Morning after curry. so good. This I agree here too. It's good. It's, it's good leftover food as well. It's good on the next day as well. I wholeheartedly agree with that. She brings her second plate to the table. She immediately takes a bite. Mm, good. What? Nothing. I feel like I've never seen you laugh like that. Is that weird? It's better that way. What? what you... Just because I praise your curry a little? Oh, uh, sorry. You don't have to apologize anyway. I guess you can be a little useful if you could. Can you text me when you do? Okay, can I have your number? Save your progress. Okay, so... I'll save here. But the next, next time they're gonna ask me to save my progress, this is when I'm gonna end stream. Because I'm close to my, shall we say, deadline. So there's one every 20 minutes or so. Okay, that's good to know. My name is Damien Maskedo. Nice to meet you. Where am I? I got in! This is the tribal study uh, club room. And now we have a new club member. Please walk in through the first couple of days. Uh, Miss Yamashiro? Are these all the club members? The social study 
The social studies study room is a modest size. We're sitting around the large table. There are only two members. So yeah, there's a TV, there's some masks, there's a lot of books, a lot of shelves. There's a Dharma, there's a Buddha statue, there's some wooden sculpture, there's a... There's a tapestry. I think it's a Buddha truck tapestry. There's a wheel, there's some sort of uh, skull, pottery, there's an arc. There's a whiteboard with stickers. <laughs> I proposed so five max is just a little one or two students on top. Even so, there are only two people in front of me. Both of them look familiar. One of our members is running late. No matter. Why don't you introduce yourself? You already know Mew, don't you? Oh, Mew is in the club. Oh yes, uh, nice to meet you again, Amana. Same. And next to her is... I can introduce myself. I didn't expect her to be here too. Oh, it's Sayaka Mishiro. Okay, I'm Sayaka Mishiro from Class 1A. Pleased to see you again. I don't owe you anything. That is all. <laughs> so it's Saya and Mew. And the late girl, uh, I wonder if it's gonna be the the glasses girl that we saw in the intro with pink hair. Question mark? Oh, good to see you again. And then there's one more, but I guess she isn't. So two, that makes me with three, another member that's gonna be four, and including the teacher, we're five. So that's gonna be everyone. The sound of running footsteps approaches from the hallway. Sounds like she's here after all. Sorry, I'm late. They wouldn't let me out of tennis. Of course. Of course, our freaking cousin is in the club. Oh, come on. Huh? Why are you here? You're the last one. My name is Kusunose from Class 2C. This is our newest member. Hi. Seriously? We're in the same club too? Oh, do you two know each other already? I'm starting to think there's some kind of fate linking us together. I was going to say that. Hello? Did you say something? That's it for the introduction. I suppose, as you can see, it's mostly girls here, but I think you'll be okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. Like, all girls club, and I'm the only boy. I guess she was stuck with... Okay, I, I need to uh, spice... Spi uh, not spice things up, but even things up by adding a, a boy. But since all the boys wants to be there for the chicks, she has to turn them down. So that's why, like, probably because of my 100-page essay written, written out of automatism made me uh, part of the club. So that took me two hours of gameplay to be in the club. Miss Yamashiro smiles. But Miss Yamashiro, we've enjoyed a good balance with just us girls. Why invite a male student now? We mean a good balance with girls. Fuck you. I thought this club was for girls only. The world can be men. If you're concerned about balance, not having a male there would be an issue. Well, I feel we'd have a guy in the club someday. Better him than someone like Kensuke, right? Oh, uh, yes. You say so, Lady Maimi. I withdraw my objection. 
Anyway,細かいことは部長から教えてもらってね。Today Welcome to the club. I just joined the mystery club. Total trophy progress, 1%. So only 1% of people got that trophy? 